think about being bored and not having anything to do and that can be the youth that can be the adults <laughs> that can be that can go a lot of different ways do you feel like they tend to sin when this happens Kane, that is a good question. Let me put this mic up a little closer now. I like this question, okay? okay, okay now, okay. they usually say an idle mind is a devil's playground. Okay, when you're bored and irregardless of age, okay, man, I don't have anything to do. I have done everything. Mm, I'm just sitting here, as Kane would say, in my thoughts, ah! in my Push thoughts. Up. And Push I'm going to tell you something. Sometimes that mind of ours was in there. Man, let me see. Maybe I'll go on the internet because I'm bored. Mm. And we know we just go on YouTube, whatever. And man, we see these pictures. Mm. It could be a lovely lady, handsome man. Hmm. I never thought about, oh, man, that person looks nice. I wonder, hmm, let me look at another image. Oh, let me go in to see some topless photos. I'm just saying, because we're bored. We don't have anything to do. Mm. Oh, now I'm into pornography. We're going to keep it real. We are old, okay? Oh, how did I get there? Oh, now I'm engulfed in this. Uh, well, would that be a sin, though? Kane, if it takes over, <laughs> because it could be the doorway, sir. It could be the door. Congregation, let's go. Uh, let's be truthful. Yeah, yeah. We done open up a door. They say Pandora's box. Mm -hmm. We don't know what's okay. back there. Okay. Look, okay. I can go into a lot of different, different scenarios. Not saying, and what Kane said, you know, he plays the devil's advocate, you know. Mm -hmm quote unquote, gives him a chance to say anything he wants. So y'all watch him. But <laughs> that is, yeah, <laughs> that's my is. doubt. That's my doubt. <laughs> but we we can open up uh, new experiences because we're bored. Some of them can be really, they could be good. And then some of them can take us down the wrong path. And then we'll find ourselves. Now I'm bored. I was curious about this, whatever I'm, I looked at or whatever I got involved in. And now it's consuming me. That's where it, and especially if it's bad, that's where the sinning can take place. Oh, I'm just on the, uh, let me check out this little dating site or whatever. See what these, the young people be talking about. I eat any of them. Tender, grinder, plenty of fish. That might, I know it's new ones out there, but let me just go up there and just look at people. Now my looking I'm so curious. Maybe I could meet somebody just to talk, just a little conversation. Am I sinning at that point? Because now I have a yearning I wouldn't even for think this. you're sinning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, 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 but you're opening up the door, Kane. I know you're opening you can, up the door. And sometimes when you door. cross, yes, Kane. You can open up, listen, bro. You can Go open ahead. up the door. You can open up the door of boredom because you're, you're bored right now, mm -hmm. right? So you can open up the door to something. And you just being selective in what you uh, say okay. and do, right? Right. Okay, Mister Selective. Okay. I, I'm okay. just saying you, that that's what you're doing. So if that's right. what you're doing, if I'm bored and I decide to, you know what, I'm gonna go and go for a walk. Nothing right. wrong with that. Okay. Nothing wrong with it, right? Nothing wrong with it. No. So does boredom lead to sinning? So I'm bored. That's why I was sinning. How would I start sinning? So what causes people to be, quote unquote, you know, sin, sinful when they're bored? Kane, I would say um, letting your inhibitions or whatever, things that, uh, you know, that you've thought about that you would never do. But, uh, man, OK, let's take it again. I'm not trying to stay on anything uh, adult material related, but yeah, that walk that you were so innocent about, mm -hmm. you left the park, man. All right. Let me go and go to, the old, we call it shake, shake back in the day. Oh, strip club. <laughs> you, would, you ain't never go to no strip club. Why? Well, I don't have anything to do. Not saying it's just to say, but Hey, 
I got a couple. Of, I got a couple of ones. Yeah, you want to touch, but you don't. Let's go. Come on. We we laughing, but we bid you know the truth. Okay, man. Now you find yourself. Yeah. Hey, I'm going to one. Oh man, shoot. I know. Uh, now I'm going three times a week. It's taking over me, and it doesn't. Re- it doesn't matter if you have a girlfriend, you're married or whatever. These things, you can say, oh, it's nothing wrong with that. But when it takes over and now it becomes almost like your God, man, that's the sin that's just done took over. Go ahead and say what you want to say. Well, I don't well know that, your you mind. know, you know how I feel about that. Yeah, definitely. let's go. Yeah, let's go. Because when I say sin, that's just you playing God. Like, but mm-hmm. I, I don't yeah. know if boredom really um, you don't leads think you can... to sin all mm-hmm. the time because oh, no. not everybody is um, uh, led by, you know, just because they're bored, they're just going to dabble. And because you're just saying, because I'm bored, I'm going to try this. I'm going to try that. Never done it before, but I'm going to try this and try that. And they're all going to be negative things that I've heard or whatever. Right. You know. Or I'm bored, so that's why some of the young people during the summer, they go robbing places or whatever, robbing people. They bored. They ain't got nothing else to do. So, but would it be would it be a bad thing for those particular individuals that are bored to fill themselves in with things that keep them busy all day long? Now, if it keeps them busy all day long, does that mess up, mess with the psyche in any kind of way? Well, if they're always busy. If you're always busy, because the opposite of being bored is being busy, right? Right. Because you're doing something. Right. So right. if you're always busy, does that would that lead to sinful acts too? Well, Kane, I, I would you can say get this. to drinking, doing drugs because you're too stressed out. All kinds of things can lead to sinful acts. So you're saying being bored will maybe lead to those negative acts. Is that what well, you're saying? Well, uh, yes, in the aspect. Well, yes, I'll just say yes. But, Kane, we know when we were growing up and um, till today, when the summertime months come and the kids are out of school, usually the little uh, going in people's cars, those little petty little things, the, those crimes and things, they, mm-hmm. they go up or whatever. Yeah. So they have like summer camps. They have a lot of different activities for the kids, you know. For for especially the teenagers, um, even getting into the workforce at at 15 years old and things of that nature, uh, so they can be busy. Now, you can be busy or too busy, and yes. they, de- they do need a, a chance to decompress. So they can just, oh, I want to play videos. I want to holler at my boys. We want to go to the movies. You know, I'm talking about the youth and things of that nature, but uh, we want to have the kids involved almost as busy as possible, keeping them on some type of regiment um, daily routine, and then they can decompress. But we don't want them from seven o'clock in the morning to seven at night busy the whole time and then they got to get up now it's a job or what especially if they're made to go do these uh things so we don't want them busy all the time but to take up enough time we we, we see how do, it you, in- how do you how do you find that balance congregation how do you find mm-hmm. the balance in trying to fill in that space with productive activities versus being bored and doing negative activities how do y'all feel it how do you fill in that gap you know what i'm saying because I, I can guarantee if you're saying, all right, well, I'm just going to have them, my kids, during the summer, they're going to be working on, you know, generating correct sentences and doing multiplication tables, whatever, right? That's yeah, yeah. keeping them busy. But evidently, you know, at the same time, that can go negative. That can go Yes, too. yes, yes. Because you always say, hey, did you do this? Did you do those multiplication tables? Did you do the blah, 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 blah? And then you, you, you're pushing them to try to do things behind the parents' back. Mm. Because yes. I, I, I know that we both probably have done things in the past where he's like, man, if, if I get a little break, man, I'm trying to do something else, man. Yeah. Hey, I'm just going to hang out with these guys, smoke this little whatever, right? Uh-oh. You know? Oh, uh, mm-hmm. You can say it's sinful. Yeah. You can say it's sinful to uh, smoke this and you know you're underage or whatever, right? 
you, you can say that, but then I, I, I wasn't actually bored. I was filled in, but I was stressed out at the same time. Oh my goodness! Hold hey, on. hey, look, my, so the mom, kids getting they getting they getting uh, stressed out, so they got to yeah, smoke because they, they hey, you you you've you've noticed this in congregation, y'all can agree or disagree, Let's but go. you've know you know some parents are like into school, and when I say yeah. into school, they will push that junk down your throat. Yeah, I want this done. I want that even during the summer. They yes. they they doing stuff, you know, it, school related, school related, school related. If I find a, 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 a time where I can get on a bike and just ride out and then we go back in some woods and we puff a little bit, mm. it, what led me to do that? Oh, so. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wasn't bored. The devil. I, was, I, was, I, had, I had a bunch of stuff to do. I had a bunch of stuff to do. I wasn't bored. Uh, mm. You can say it was peer pressure, but, man, I just needed a release because my mom, that man. Hey, if I can get away with this, I'll sweat it out. Whatever, man. I just uh, <laughs> he said, sweat uh. it out. Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. Yeah. What What do you think about that? What do, What do you think? Just because you fill in that gap with something positive, can it still lead to sinful acts? Now, I was just I just threw that in there or whatever, just so you know, uh, because everybody think that you know, just being poor will probably because a lot of times in, you know, in Chicago and all those other places, mm. man, those, those youth, man, they poor, they ain't got nothing to do. Then maybe they're not going to those youth centers and all of that. Oh yeah. And maybe they are going to those youth centers during the day, but at night, what are we doing? Come on. Mom and them working. So yes. I'm just, I'm idle now. What can we do? We hang out on the block, man. It's just chilling outside. Yeah. And then they, somebody come up with an idea. Hey man, I think they ain't locked their door over there. Let's go. Come on. Yes. That, so that happens. That's what, how do you how do you how do you deal with that? The boredom and the people that are stressed out because the uh parents are keeping them busy 24-7. How do you how do you deal with that? You know? What what would you think? That that's I mean a great question. I mm -hmm. mean, having like what well, we said already, they can't be in uh some type of activity all day going into the night yeah so mm -hmm. i would just say you know if they are in a activity uh during the day in the evening they'll have a little downtime because in some instance they're going to be the parents are going to come home and they ask them about that they see what's going on okay that can filter up until the next day now i don't know as far as after school uh, school activities or late night activities uh, that could be uh, something to look into uh, but I don't know if they that they offer a lot of late night activities due to different cities and the violence do you want your kid going out there yeah. uh, because that's true we know what goes yeah. on they they go to the indoor jump, uh, what is it, the trampoline parks? Yes, they go yes, to yes. the skating rings. They go to and all those, these different little places, man. And, and those, you know, and that's for the youth. That's for them to do, you know, 8, 9, 10 o'clock at night, you know. So, but, I mean, a lot of times things happen there. But and maybe the, even sinful acts. You Because I know you said sinful is, you know, getting into a fight or something. So they can be, somebody can get into go. a fight there. Yeah. So it that led to. Just because you got into a fight, don't mean <laughs> you stand. I, I don't like how you slid that in there, Kay. Hey, you hey, you got to hey. listen to them, people. Congregation. Hey, if if y'all will hear this, if y'all haven't already watched our previous episode, <laughs> that's what that's what Mitch talks about. And, and check it out, because it's, okay, it's yeah. crazy. We'll, we'll yeah, leave yeah. the link up in there. But, but man, um. I think uh, okay. to alleviate both the boredom mm -hmm. and the people that are, you know, got a, a schedule full for the whole summer. Uh, and this is just with kids is just being able to sit down and talk with your child. Yeah. Being able to sit down and talk with them about the different activities that they're doing. Yeah. You yeah. know, how, how was that, that activity? How did it go? What, what could we've done better? Whatever. Right. Because a lot of times the people that are the parents that are, putting their kids through this, this is maybe their first rodeo. They've mm -hmm. never done this. They're just thinking this is the right thing for them. So they're learning at the same time the kid is learning. So having that conversation and being able to talk to them and be like, hey, 
you know, I, I don't want you to be, you know, feeling like you're overwhelmed and things of that nature. Just have a general conversation with them. You still the parent. You still call the shots. Yeah. However, I, you need to be able to hear their side too. Yes. It goes a long way. I, it goes a long way. And, and a lot of times the kids will be honest with you and tell you, you know, I really don't like that that after school program you got because there's a lot of bullies out there and mm. you be thinking you're doing something because they have all these opportunities for them. But at the same time, the, you know, they hate, mm. hate going there because the bullies are, you know, whatever, right. They picking on me at, over there. <laughs> it can happen. No, but no. If you didn't I have think that conversation, the... if you didn't have that conversation, all you think you're doing the right thing something by good. sending in them, you don't know the full story. You know what and, I'm saying? And that can be building up. They don't like it. They're fearful of it, and then they correlate having resentment towards you because yeah. you didn't talk to them about it, and they didn't come to you. So communic communication aspect yeah. is key. I like how you broke that down. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it, the, the communication is key, and they may even do something negative or what you call sinful. They will do something <laughs> sinful. Yeah. To get out of that predicament. Hey, I don't want to go to the uh, Boys and Girls Club anymore. I don't want to go there anymore. So mm. I'm going to do something to get kicked out of that so I don't have to go anymore. Roger that. So, you right you on see that. what I'm saying? Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. And it's possible. And that person is not bored. You know what I mean? So it just depends on the personality. And I think that you need to actually talk to the actual individual. Yes. Now, for adults... They mm. cannot deal with it. I know we were talking about kids because kids, we kind of help direct. But yeah. with the adults that Ooh. are bored, that are committing these sinful acts, uh -oh. they need to be able to uh, be able to manage their time and their time wisely and yes. quit sitting around doing anything. Find something productive. They are adults. They, they can do these things. Kids, we help direct. Adults, they should be able to research. And get out of this boredom state. You yeah. see what I'm saying? And watch those park walks, like Kane said, when you're walking past those. <laughs> hey, <laughs> well, I started in the park. How did you end up over here? Sir? Yeah, this drug club. Oh, what happened? What happened, right? <laughs> Congregation, what y'all think, man? I know we kind of drug this out a little bit, mm -hmm. but I, I'm just it's curious. Good. And what do y'all think about that? Does boredom lead to sinful acts? Mm. Does, does, I mean, even for an adult or for a child. You know, uh, does your child, you keep them busy all the time so they can't create these uh, sinful acts or they're doing these sinful acts behind your back? Because yeah. that can be a thing, too. And you just don't know because yeah. you don't talk to them like that, you know. And that's why I suggested you to actually talk to them. And as being an adult, you're bored. It's time to get outside the box. Yes. It's time to look at different things and, and, and try different things just to see if you like it or not. It's a trial and error. That's how I see it if you're an adult, just to get out of that boredom phase where you're not going to be sitting back, woe is me, sitting back drinking till you fall asleep and then do it all over again the next day. You know? Yeah. You don't want to overindulge in anything. Or eating, because some people just sit and eat, 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 you know, because I'm bored. You yeah. know what I mean? So, and that happens too as well. So yeah. let us know. Let us know. Anything else for him, Mitch? No, sir. Let's do oh. it. Oh, okay, okay. Like I said, man, hey, keep keep the he said idle minds is devil playground, mm. but don't give the devil uh, the opportunity to be in your playground because your playground is up here, right? Your playground is up here. So if you can get your mind together and guarantee you will be able to uh, uh, do the right thing at the right time, and that's the uncomfortable truth. Hey, baby, Roger that. And I gotta give it to I gotta give it to Mister Kane on that one, Roger that. <laughs> Those closing Let's words. Go. Let's go. Hey, Take up man. a collection. Let's go. Cash up in the bottom. Hey. You know, if you don't want to see us, but you want to just listen to us, we on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Amazon, Pandora, iHeartRadio, Google Podcasts, all of them. All of them. 